everybody, so guess what? I went to Bath and Body Works yesterday, so of course I have a spring Bath and Body Works haul, so I'm super excited about it. I do want to uh, put in this video though that um, I took down my Best of 2012 tag because I'm just having so many issues with that. Um, the, I <laughs> friggin, it started off with, you guys probably know that the sound in the video was off completely, so that I had to get a new software and change that, and then I had to re-upload it, and then it ended up cutting it off uh, to 15 minutes, because I guess that's the, that's what that web, that um, program will let me put on. Um, so I figured out a way to fix that, obviously, you guys probably already know that. But uh, I took that one down. I figured it's kind of late now to refix it. But if you guys do want to see it, the full version with all the sound and video properly done, uh, let me know in the comments below or tweet me because I will do it if you want to see it. But I have kind of figured, uh, in my opinion, that it was a little late to fix it and redo it now because we're, we're into like March now. So uh, yeah, so if you do want to see it though, please let me know and I will definitely fix it for you guys if you really and truly want to see it. So let's get into the works. The awesome Bath and Body Works bag. As you guys know, I'm gonna start with the little stuff first and then I'll work into like the more bigger things. So first off, I saw this. Um, their new theme is like um, kind of like a uh, like a antique like it's like all like the fresh pick stuff. So fresh picked apples, pears, peaches, that type of stuff. But they're kind of going with a little bit of like a, a retro antique type look. So I picked this up. I thought it was really cute. It's just like a fabric bag. It's just a little bag. And uh, I just thought the pattern on it was really cute. And I thought, you know, I could use it as decoration or something like that in my new room when uh, I do move and stuff like that. And, and then it's just like white inside. You can see that. But I thought that was really cute. So I picked that up. That was only... Uh, $3, so that was a pretty good deal anyways. Um, they did have like gift ba bags too that were sort of similar like that. Um, they had like all kinds of them. There's one that was even really cute. It said, um, uh, keep me peachy or something like that. And I thought that was cute, but I liked the pattern on that one better. I'm really into like the antique look, so I really like that. And then I picked up a bunch of pocket backs. They were five for five dollars. So a buck each. Um, so the first one I picked up was Co is Coconut Cove. So it looks like that. Hopefully that's, you can see that like that. Um, you guys know I love coconut, so I really like this one. It basically smells like coconut and like springtime and it's really good. So I picked that one up. Then I picked up Fresh Picked Apples. Um, again, just smells like apples and this is part of their new line, the like Fresh Picked stuff. So. Uh, so I picked that up. Uh, then I picked up uh, Island Nectar, and this one I wasn't so sure um, if I would like. It says Island Nectar, Nectar Tropical. I wonder if Nectar Tropical is French. I don't know. But anyways, um, this is what this looks like. And uh, they all like they all smell very spring, summery type stuff. Um, obviously, like I said, the fresh picked is the like, the new like collection or whatever. So I also picked up fresh picked wild berries which also smells awesome. I am really like the fruity more so than the like florally. I'm not really a florally type person. And the last one I picked up is Berry Sangria, which I guess is a, like a drink, but it smells really good. It's again, very fruity and very good. So yes, those were five for $5. So I picked the five up. And then the last thing in this one bag here is um, just one of the little carriers. And I just thought it was really cute. It's very like, kind of like aqua, kind of like ocean, like beachy type look. So it just looks like that, it's really pretty. And these are just like little like plastic balls, I guess, they're not like, they're not bells or anything, they're just plastic balls. But I thought it was really pretty and kind of like spring, like beachy. And this was 350, so not a bad price. But I thought it was cute, so that's why I picked that one up. And then that's all in that bag. Um, I also got two of the, um, I got three actually, the uh, Shade Infuse uh, Lounge Socks. I got this one and then I got this one. Um, I actually got three with the other pair I gave my mother-in-law. They were like white with uh, gray, blue, 
a light orange and I think yellow stripes. They're pretty, but I just gave her the choice of which one she wanted and that was the one she picked. So I got two of those and they're so, so soft and I'm super excited to try them because I actually haven't worn or even bought a pair of these. Like you guys are probably like, you got, you're freaking crazy because they're like the best socks ever. And they are super soft and the girl at Cash was always, was like they're her favorite socks ever. Like she doesn't want like, wear any other kind of lounge socks. She loves these. So uh, I definitely am excited to try those. And these two I thought was cool that um, my mother-in-law actually had a pair of like lotion socks that she didn't buy at Bath and Body Works. I think she said she bought them at Sears or something like that. And uh, they didn't have little rubberies. Like I don't know if you guys can see this, but they have like the little rubberies on them. And I thought that was kind of cool too. And obviously you don't like slip or slide in them because they're already really soft and slippery as. Alright, now let's move into the bigger items. So I think if I know what this is, they're all wrapped up still because I didn't pick them out yet. Yes, this I was so excited about. So like I said, their new collection for spring is like the Fresh Picked, right? But they have the Fresh Picked in mason jars, guys. Is that not the cutest thing? I absolutely love this new mason jar in the candle in a mason jar thing. And this is the uh, Market Peach, so like Fresh Picked Peaches. This smells exactly like peaches. It's so awesome. So it's just orange and it's only a one wick, but I thought that was the cutest thing. Candle in a mason jar. Um, I know that that is probably going to go over pretty well, but I thought that was so cute. And then it just says like Bath and Body Works on the top like that. So yeah, super. I was so excited to get one of these and they had like five, I think, different scents in the mason jar. They had this one. They had market peach or no this is market peach um i think it was market strawberry they had one that was um lemon mint um something rather and i didn't really like that one i thought that was kind of weird um and then they had a florally one like it was like flower bouquet or something like that and i'm not like i said i'm not really a florally person so i didn't pick that one up and i think that was all that Oh no, and then uh, mango pineapple was the other one that was in that. And um, my husband actually really loves that one. So we did pick up a, a bigger candle, but I only had enough. Because these are actually fairly expensive. They're like $13.50. I guess it's not a terrible price. But to me, it's like a better price to pick up like the bigger ones anyways. Because the bigger ones this time were two for 30, which isn't as great as the price it was at Christmas time, but that was Christmas and this is spring. So they had to do something different obviously, but uh, yeah, they pick up these mason jar ones because they're super cute and I love them. All right, so then I have, there were two for 30, the big ones, so I got two of those. I got this one, my husband's favorite scent, uh, pineapple mango. It looks like this. And this is like their new label right now too, like that like antique type Lego, Lego, <laughs> antique type logo uh, or label. It's really cute, I think. And so that's the one that he actually chose. And it smells good, don't get me wrong, but I'm not really a big mango fan. So it doesn't really bother me, but I'm not really a huge mango fan, that's all. But that was the one that he picked out. And the other one that we got, can find it. Yeah, right here. Is the uh, Bahama, what is this, Fizz? Bahama Fizz. I think it's Bahama Fizz. It's a drink, but it smells really, really good. So it just looks like this. And I love it. Like, it's fruity and it's like, reminds me of spring and it's really, really awesome. I really loved it. Um, I did smell like hundreds and hundreds of these things, like seriously, but I really didn't like any of the new like summer ones, like the ocean side. I thought it smelled ocean side. Sorry, ocean side smelled okay, but it was just more like smelled more like linen, and I'm not really a big linen scent fan. So, um, and then there was like pool side, and that smelled more like sunscreen. I was like, mm, don't really like that. And then. What else? There was Tiki Beach and it just smelled kind of like dry, like sandy. I didn't really like that either. So a lot of their new summery ones I didn't really like, but uh, this is definitely a good one. There was another, um, there was another drink one too. Peach Bellini's back, um, but there was another drink too and I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't as nice. Oh, there's like a margarita one too, but I don't like the smell of the margarita I found. It smells really like stinky, like I don't know, it's hard to like really explain what it smelled like, but it just didn't smell nice. So this is the one I got. So I got two for 30. I'm gonna pick two of those two up. And then the last thing I got at Bath and Body Works, and this, I was super excited. I had, a, I normally, 
when I go to Bath and Body Works, so I don't go very often, um, I make a list of all the ones that I want to smell. So I go on like their website and then I make a list of all the ones that I want to smell, all the lotions, all the pocket backs, all the uh, candles, everything. And I just make a list of everything. Anyways, and when I saw this online, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that. It is the cutest thing. So I got it and it's this cute little birdhouse like candle holder. I thought it was like the cutest freaking thing ever. I love it so much. And it just looks like this all the way around. The front's always the cutest because it's a little bird. And then you just put like the candle inside. It's got a spot it feels like for like the little one, which you could probably, I don't have one on me, but you could probably fit the medium one in there. I don't know. It's a fairly small hole, but uh, I just thought this was so cute. And it's totally going to go with my room when I finally get a room in my new place when I do get a new place. Uh, and this was $9.50, so not too bad. Um, it is ceramic, and I just, but it is so cute. I, I can't. I'm so happy that I actually got this. Is one of my pretty much the most favorite thing that I actually got in all the stuff that I get did get there because I love it so much. And then, so that's all the stuff that I did get. Uh, they gave me obviously a coupon here, a free signature collection item with any $30 home fragrance person purchase up to $14 value. And it's a see back from details, so it just looks like this. If you guys go there now, it'll probably be there. But there's like kind of like their the collection, how it's like kind of like that antique look. Um, and then there's like a code it says uh, includes summer mist, accessories, home fragrance, and gift sets. Uh, avail this is valid until the 17th of March. So yeah, not cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, sorry. And then yeah, here's the back. It just shows you like kind of their collection and like their theme that they're going with and stuff. So Fresh Picked is their theme for spring this year. So that's really cool. And like I said, I really like the new label that they're doing for the spring uh, collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Bath and Body Works spring summer haul. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a collective haul very soon. I bought a huge amount of Avon stuff. I got some new palettes that I'm really excited to show Actually, you guys. Wearing the one palette that I do have, I did just recently get. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing and then maybe you guys can guess in the comments below or tweet me what palette maybe I used. And so this is what the look I went with. And so yeah, tell me if you think you know what the uh, the palette is that I may have used. So I'm actually really excited though because I really loved it and it's super awesome. But uh, I will definitely show you guys those in a collective haul. I also think I have a bunch of e.l.f. stuff coming in and then I think a few random things. I got something from BH Cosmetics which I'm super excited to get. Um, so there will be a huge collective haul coming up very soon. Obviously next weekend will be um, my February favorites and then the weekend after that will be my top box video. So look forward to those. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked Bath and Body Works hauls and subscribe if you, liked to, if you uh, would like to watch my February favorites, my collective haul, and my bathroom and my top box video because they will be coming up soon. So if you subscribe, you will get those in your playlist. So super exciting stuff. Um, so don't forget too that I'm still doing my giveaway. Uh, 50 subscribers, guys, and then you guys all get a to have an awesome giveaway coming. Um, I'm still sort of collecting small little things here and there for it, but uh, it is getting pretty big and it's almost ready for when I get those 50 subscribers. Yay! So let your friends know about me and subscribe to me. And like I said, just great stuff coming your way. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.